can have here. So I, I don't have enough jokes. Some of you might have to share. I, I'm, I'm going to move this mic stand so you can see me properly. <laughs> so how are we all doing? <laughs> this, this is proper terrifying. <laughs> What's even my idea to be here? It was my wife's. She said, you just get up there. You only need to last five minutes. Take me right back to my honeymoon. <laughs> um, but talking about my honeymoon, that was a couple of four nights ago. So last year, 30 years married. No, 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 no. It's a fucking bottle of rum and a restraining order. None of that applause carry on. But she said, we'd go on a cruise. It'd be all fancy. I was very nervous because usually people my size at the edge of the ocean, the boats that roll up, I've got Greenpeace written on the side of them. <laughs> but um, many, many years ago in a galaxy far away before, I met my lovely wife. I'm contractually obliged to call her that. Um, I grew up in a mining town in the outside of Glasgow called Bells Hill. A child of the Thatcher generation. It's alright, we Jimmy Savile on the telly on a Saturday night. <laughs> so technically the miners were getting pumped twice. Um, <laughs> it's, it's not a thing I get involved in myself. I'm not saying I was an ugly wing, but I used to carry a Mars bar about in my pocket. Yeah, sweeten the deal. <laughs> Alas, and no puppies for me. Bag of you on the world without the internet, no internet. I don't mean the internet was down, or servers break down. It wasn't there. No in the internet, no Google. So, I can it was difficult being a chubby wing. Because if you wanted bully, you to go outside. <laughs> Get some fresh air in your tea, a bit of exercise. But it was a different world. You know, no internet, no Google, no social media. I'm not saying it was a better world. I'm going to heavily imply it, but... <laughs> I mean, when I was... When I was growing up, and when I was at school and when I went to university, you'd say, uh, if you wanted to know something, there was no Alexa, no Google. You'd go to a library. Who all remembers libraries? <laughs> and in the libraries, there's these things, books. <laughs> and inside the books, there was these magical things. What, what were they called? Facts, that's what it, they were called, facts. And, it, and for the younger people, it, the facts are the things that exist in the real world. It's not the opinion of your mate Frank for doing the pub. You know Frank, the guy with the exotic but not unattractive rash. <laughs> But see, the world's a different place now. I'm very lucky. I've got a 24-year-old daughter, my little warrior princess, or Voldemort, as we call her during our people. <laughs> um, she keeps me the right side of the law when it comes to being woke. And by the way, it's no woke, it's awake. Get your grammar right. <laughs> but there is a line in the sand for me. There's, there's something I just can't eat. I'm not doing it. <sighs> Baristas. <laughs> There's people out there who think being a barista is a career. Fuck off, it's barely a job. <laughs> so, my final comments to you tonight are going to be about baristas. So if there's any baristas out there, oh, fuck you. <laughs> um, first off, what you're doing is not rocket science. You're putting frothy liquid in a cup. I can do that myself at any sperm donation clinic. <laughs> There's no special name for it. Secondly, Barista University. It's no thing. It's no real thing. And the last thing. Milk comes from mammals. It's not an opinion, it's a fact. I will never gaze upon the teats of a soya bean. <laughs> I will never ogle 
the gazongas of an oat. <laughs> and I will certainly never pull the heat off it to the under the jumper bumper humpers of a milf almond. <laughs> So do me a favour, the next time you're in a coffee house of your choice, walk up to one of the tiny black aproned fraternity and say, excuse me, are those machines Kenwood? Because they really hate it when you assume they're blender. Oh! <laughs> Thank you very much. I've been Pete Murphy, and you haven't.